It's 2020! 2005 was 15 years ago. Oh man, I found myself muttering about how loud children are in the mornings. The first symptoms of catching the olds. And what a time warp 2005 is. Like really, it, buying products is totally different. You know, nowadays, you might not even ever see the packaging for stuff. You know, Amazon will just show you the product and then you read the blurb and click buy. I've had stuff roll in just in a plain cardboard box, which I'm actually totally cool with because, you know, less waste, less printing, less everything, whatever. But back in 2005, a really enticing box might encourage you to buy something. I mean, let's start off with a good example. This is how Apple sold the second gen mini. There it is. There it is again. That's what it's called. And there's the guff if you give a damn. Clean. Ooh, comes with a nipple, which makes you happy. Here's a good third party product from the time. Again, for the iPod mini, pretty clean. You know, being a third party thing, it's got to say a little bit more information. FM transmitter, and on the back is where you find the guff. This is what you needed if you want to play radio on your little iPod mini because Apple products have always been famous for having just a couple of features that they're missing. I mean, this was a competitor to the mini. Look, looks like a robot testicle. What kind of shape is this? Even this space nugget has a radio transmitter in it. Perusing on eBay, it, it's a bit like YouTube the stuff that you add to your watch lists and the stuff that you actually buy influences what kind of stuff eBay decides to show you. And uh, it figured that I really like manky looking accessories. And look, making stuff is hard, I, I get it. <laughs> and sometimes you only realize the mistakes after you've released it. I mean, it's like wireless charging video. Heaps of people said, why didn't you put your AirPods on there? Why didn't you put like a modern wireless charging device on there? And to be honest, it didn't even cross my mind. I d didn't even cross my mind, so I'm so sorry about that. I'm trying to release a product. I mean, no one's taken offers on my first Dingleberry kit. I mean, that's safe for retail. It tells you exactly what it is, a pair of poo-poo shears, and economy spec bum wipe. That's the most expensive part of the kit, like honest. I had to do black market deals to find that sheet. 50 bucks I paid for that. I think that's half a ply. Yes. It's a prototype, no one steal this idea. But what I'm gonna show you has gotta be the ugliest looking packaging I've ever seen. Take it in, take a big breath. This actually made it to shelves in 2005. You know, if you think it's hard for the little guy today where you can just make your own marketplace kind of thing, this was a retail package. Straight off the bat, it looks like my dad made it in a single night only using open office. This font just, it just looks like the default font when you open up a new project. And what's with the layout? Nothing is centered with anything else. Fast tracks, oh, you gotta have a catchy name, you know? It's gotta be edgy like that, but then put no effort into like the logo design. Why is the R so far away? It's drifting off. It's like, oh, I'm out of here, mate, no part of this. Really distracting, like, oh, it's gotta have some sort of artwork in the background. All good packaging is artwork in the background. It's like some clip art of a click wheel or something, but like the menu is in the way of the tracks and it's really distracting me. Velvet storage case included. Oh. Like, it's in a clear plastic enclosure. You can see it. Like, have you ever looked at a product in its sealed box and gone, oh, geez, I hope that comes with it? <laughs> like, what? Is it for someone else? And not even this is centered. Before we move on, because it just keeps getting better. Packaging is expensive. Designing is expensive. I mean, that's why Old Mate just kind of had a go. But more than that, shipping it around is expensive. So you don't want a massive box because then it's going to take up more shipping space, which makes it more expensive. You know, so there's this big bulge here. And usually when companies do this, they're hiding like the adapter the books, the cables, all that sort of stuff. And then that's also so they can make the rest of it slimmer so you could stack two on top of each other and, you know, save a lot of space. And normally this area is hidden, like the box artwork goes around the sides. But this is transparently see-through and there's nothing in it. I can hold it like a hot dog for no reason. There's printing in there. Look, it's the same printing as the front. Like, printing costs money! This is so wasteful! Like, what a waste of plastic and... Oh, gosh! Like, on the other ones, it's like, the front is clean. Yeah, like, clean. 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 This is like a full friggin' essay. High quality. Dot, dot, dot. No space. Easy to use. Allows you the convenience to forward, rewind, play, pause, and adjust volume. Why is there more info than that? Look, done. That's it. Y you don't need any more than this. Hold switch. Dot, dot, dot. No space. Keeps your settings in place. Oh, that rhymed. Change settings with four slim buttons. One, two, three, four, five. Five? There's five. 
There's, there's five buttons. Don't lie to me. Prevent theft. Dot, dot, dot. So your iPod stays hidden so people won't think to steal it. Well, they're gonna see like this double squid of cables coming out of your pocket and go, Oh mate, there's something cool in there. This is beautiful. Do you remember when the Mini was the same size as an iPod video? I can't handle the cropping. Look, there's a big, the bigger gap here to here. Why is the Nano the biggest one? <laughs> Someone's designed this, like, they're in, like, their, their mid-50s and they've gone, Oh, iPods are all the rage. I don't know what an iPod is, but, oh, quick, I need to make a new product by tonight. Oh, look, it's what it's compatible with. iPod TM Nano. iPod TM Video. iPod TM Photo. iPod TM Mini. And the iPod TM 4G. And maybe you could look at this and go, well, it's just meant to be functional. It tells you exactly what it's doing. It says the name, it's catchy, and here's what it works with. Hey, as long as it works. Well, here's the thing. It doesn't work. Look, it's fallen out of its spot. The packaging was never made in a way for that to stay in there no matter what. So, no. Like, every little bit on this is wrong. Even the warranty card's got an error on it. To obtain full warranty. <laughs> Sorry, we're full pirate there, hang on. If you wish to gain from me the one year full warranty. Wait a minute, data purchase? I can just write in whatever I want there. In the smallest font possible. You know, don't you love having that much space? Plus plus. The packaging is totally backwards. Clean at the front and then business around the back. But this is the packaging equivalent of the mullet. It's all business up front, and it's chilled out at the back. I'm sick of looking at it, I gotta smell it. Oh, look, it's that kind of packaging that's like welded shut. Oh, I'm gonna have to open up the dingleberry kit. I don't wanna damage my prototype. Careful with that toilet paper. My life savings are in there. So delicate, so fragile. Ah! Oh, man. <sighs> Come on, poo poo shears. Get through it! Oh. Oh. These are only meant for dingleberries. These are way out of their depth. Oh, we're gonna have to upgrade to the big poo poo shears. Damn it. Oh. Oh, come on, let me in! Whoa! It stinks! I just got this big whiff of factory smell. It's filthy! <laughs> And like, look, the print's not even on there properly. I love Penn and Teller, and there's this episode where they go to Egypt and they end up meeting this uh, magician's family. And she's got this little bag that she puts an egg in and hits it and then like the egg disappears. And Penn just referred to it as the egg bag. Oh yeah, you got, gotta keep, gotta make sure it stays uniform while it's filthy. Ah! Oh! That is the best egg bag I've owned today. Keep that there. Why is it dirty? It's made out of crap. It really is the cheapest feeling. You know what I mean? Right. Whoa, what the heck? Look at the, look at this. There's this inner packaging as well. What what is that for? What is this for? The, and there's and there's another piece of cardboard in there. Look at all this printing! What the f- Whoa, look! It's got the egg bag on full display! This is a bunch of people who just didn't know what they wanted to make. More! More plastic! God, what? Why? 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 Why are the- <laughs> There's something interesting. It didn't list the iPod TM 3G I think it's the first cat that we need to try. And this is fun because we get to bring the sexy speaker out again. Power on. Bluetooth mode. Oh. And when you plug it in, she goes into auxiliary mode. Dirty. Auxiliary mode. Oh, she knows. You live up there. Whoa, watch out, Shrek. Easy does it. All right, what the heck? Good start. Wait. No. No way. No way do you have to plug this up there like that. No way. No! No way! Nah, I'm not I'm not even gonna try that yet. Oh, that's crunchy. It's made out of crap, I'm telling you. Whoa, I'm not sure if you can hear that. Hang on. Can you hear that buzzing when I'm pressing it? It does it doesn't do anything. No, it's not it doesn't work with the third gen. Okay. Right, fine. Yeah, it's the it's the theme of this channel, isn't it? Nothing works with the third gen. Where's gear? 
Let's play some copyrighted music. I'm not plugging this in yet. I, I refuse to believe. Nine Carly music videos. That makes sense. On the go. What was on the go for gear? This is literally gears music, by the way. Okay. All right. All right. Oh my God. If music starts coming out, I'm so, I can't believe it. <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> this is how it's meant to be. Uh, play, oh, no, no, play pause works. The lock button works. It's the mankiest pile of crap. There you go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, this is nice. Get out, get out, sad, you reek of sadness. You wanna see Apple's one? Lovely little thing. Plugs in there. Ah, oh, Dancing Queen! Gear loves Dancing Queen. Iron Maiden, Sting. <laughs> this is all Gear's music, by the way. This is what he listened to. Isn't that worth the extra couple of bucks? This thing is just, look at all this waste for this. And it's just, it's not even a good idea. It's made out of crap. It's not even compatible with the original 30 pin dock iPod. And the only thing good to come of it is the egg bag, frankly. That's a great egg bag. Power off. <sighs>